The grim discovery was made in a remote area on the outskirts of San Antonio in Texas. A man working nearby heard a cry for help and saw a trailer with the doors partially open. Inside, there were dozens of bodies piled on top of one another. Temperatures in the area had reached 39 degrees centigrade on Monday. Those who survived, mostly young adults and children, were too weak to get out of the trailer. Patients that we saw were hot to the touch. They were suffering uh, from heat stroke, heat exhaustion, uh, no signs of water in the vehicle. It was a refrigerated tractor trailer, but there was no uh, visible working AC unit on that rig. The victims are believed to be migrants who crossed the U.S.-Mexico border looking for a better life. This appears to be one of the worst cases of migrant deaths in the U.S. in recent years. So the plight of migrants seeking refuge is always a humanitarian crisis, but tonight we are dealing with a horrific human tragedy. So I would urge you all to think compassionately and pray for the deceased, the ailing, the families. The trailer was found near a major highway that stretches all the way to the border with Mexico. San Antonio police have made arrests. We have three people in custody. We don't know if they are absolutely connected to this or not. Um, this investigation has been turned over to HSI. It is now a federal investigation. The migration crisis at the U.S. southern border is a problem for President Biden, whose approval ratings are low. Republicans are focusing on the issue ahead of the midterm elections in November. Human rights groups say the crisis is being politicized by both sides. In the meantime, migrants continue to cross the border, in this case with tragic consequences. Victoria Gatenby, Al Jazeera.